Hello friends, I'm Oom and at last SolidWorks 18 has been released. Well, the beta version, but still. There are a lot of improvements and maybe this is the best one yet. Whether you start from the desktop to the overall applications to the look and feel, the performance, it's actually one of a kind and in its own league. It doesn't need to compete with Arch, Ubuntu or Fedora because SolidWorks is in itself a different league. And man, just take a look at this. But you don't have to worry because I've already installed it on a virtual machine here. And this is how it will look like when you actually open it for the first time after installation. Now the tour application actually goes through all the important stuff of the desktop. We have already known that for a long time. So let's go in and see what is actually new in this 18th update. And the first one is pretty obvious. Let me know in the comments if you've already figured it out. But it's the desktop. You see the taskbar, the rounded corners everywhere where they talk about the calendar or the GNOME shell tweaks. What was it called? The quick access panel. And man, it actually looks good. We can change power modes, volume and other stuff. And then we have the normal GNOME screenshot utility tool. But that's not the main thing. Zoinos actually brings life to the very polished but raw experience of GNOME into a new life. It's like the upgraded version of Windows. You know, the, the difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11. You're going to see this on here. GNOME versus Zoinos' GNOME desktop. Now, if I have to guess, this is actually dash to panel. Yep, I was right. This indeed is dash to panel. And if I'm correctly, then let me just show you a magic which actually makes this whole desktop look even better. Go to the dynamic panel length. It'll actually make it look like this. And it doesn't stop there. Let me just show you more. Let me say I increase the panel thickness by something like around this much. Now go to behavior. Go to style. Increase the margin. And it's going to actually make it floating. Like really. Let me know in the comments if you knew this trick. You can do this on any, any GNOME based desktop. Just install dash to panel and this is what you're getting. So I'm just gonna leave it floating but like this. So you know, you're going to feel much better now. Now the rounded corners are not just for the desktop, the taskbar and other stuff. It's built in everywhere whether you talk about all the other applications. It's gonna be rounded. And that's not it. You have something new. Windows Styling Manager. I know, I know, but still. You see, just like this. I know that where Zoino has got the inspiration of this particular thing from, but just hear me out. On Windows, we hated this thing. Only for the sole purpose that it was really resource intensive. Like, actually resource intensive. Like, whenever you try to drag and drop, the snap menu will appear and you can easily set these things like this. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're gonna say, but still. It just works, so believe me, the window tiling manager and everything else looks pretty flawless. And if you are an advanced user, you can also use keyboard shortcuts or keyboard binding to do these things. But that's not it. The thing which I love the most about SoinOS is its integration with Windows and web applications. For example, when you go to online accounts, you can actually connect to your Microsoft 365 and Microsoft and Google like when you connect these, okay, like I'm not going to do that right now. But when you actually do that, you'll be able to use Office applications of Microsoft on here. And not just that, you'll also be able to use Photoshop, Photoshop web version, but it works flawlessly here. But that's not the main highlight. Yeah, I know I've been saying this again and again, but just hear me out. This is the thing. This is the main deal. When you go to appearances, go to Zorin appearance, you will be having three new layouts. One will be inspired by the one I just showed you, a compact dog floating in the bottom, and then Linux Mint, and then some other one. But the best thing which I love the most is this, their new ascent colors. Let me just show you. So as you can see in the background, I have GNOME files, which is not less, and calendar application. Now, whenever you change your ascent color, for example, I'm going to change it to yellow. It changes everything from the icons to the overall desktop to the ascent theme of the GNOME shell. Literally everything, even 
the icon of join menu yep that's right let's say i want purple or lavender okay this one actually looks pretty nice all you need is a nice purple wallpaper and yeah by the word wallpaper i'd like to show you i have a huge collection of beautiful wallpapers on my google drive and i've linked it in the description and there are a lot of beautiful lamps like for example take a look at this one nice right or what about this one this one actually looks nice or maybe if you want something purple or pastel lilac this one the link is in the description and it's perfectly free it's from google drive so yes you know don't forget to check it out and i love the new ascent theme colors and the overall compatibility of how everything actually changes from one place to another for example brown or this grayish black or green i never thought i'd see green here but still it looks pretty nice and it doesn't work only for hair let's say if you want the dark mode it actually works flawlessly in the dark mode like it actually looks pretty nice doesn't it the new version is actually rocking whether you talk about yellow blue okay blue actually looks pretty darn good isn't it and i'm going to use this thing as the thumbnail but leaving that let's try this one okay this one actually looks nice but what i like the most is the blue one like yeah the others are nice but blue is just a whole new and different feeling yep it just works why don't we try and change the background okay so we only have two of them yeah definitely not this one the native one actually looks pretty nice so yes why don't i change the positions of these two applications it will look good no nah, it was better previously but leaving that now comes the most important part and for that i'm gonna need to use terminal if it has one because these days i'm thinking like we don't even need terminal so if it has neo fetch i can show you no we cannot let's install it i really like the way how apt package management works because you can blindly trust apt in arch i have to face a lot of issues whether it's native pacman or my aur repositories from ye and now at last the moment of truth after using the whole desktop for some time and opening a few applications it should be easily able to teach 2 gbs of ram but as we're seeing it is just 1.6 gbs wow and don't forget we are running all of this in a virtual machine so on an actual pc it's going to be very fast and the only reason that it's working so flawlessly is the better optimization of drivers which you get under the hood without any problem out of the box whether you talk about normal versions like if you don't have a dedicated gpu it's going to work normally well this virtual machine actually does not have gpu support so you know even then it's working so damn smooth so just imagine if it works on a normal pc with maybe 4 gbs of ram or let's say if you if you still have a really nice and powerful pc with an nvidia dedicated gpu you're in luck because you get proper boot menu for that you have really amazing dedicated proprietary gpu support out of the box and not just that i forgot to say some things so you see we have updates in our applications as well now i know i should not have forgotten that but i was just so lost in the overall desktop's look and feel and the other aspects that i forgot so yeah let's go and yep you're looking at the update to be honest right in front of you you see the files application the updated sidebar it works pretty flawlessly like i really love the overall application theme and how it actually presents itself it has reorganized controls if you can see you see on normal version let me just show you my own okay this is my own gnome files okay let me just fix that so this is how it looks like right now for me while in reality zoinos did a great job in improving the overall gnome files or nautilus and customizing it and optimizing it for their own desktop and if you think that it stops there no it doesn't settings application also improves the same redesigning interface with the panels and sidebars and yes you have keyboard shortcuts almost everywhere and it's not the main thing the real thing is you can actually customize them that is something you do not get on normal gnome based desktops and distros and they are firewall out firewall out of the box so yes that is indeed cherry on the top and yeah that actually reminds me 
even though it is based on well how can i see this maybe gnome 46 like i right now it is gnome 48 but still you know this thing actually is pretty nice but let's just try it out eh neo fetch sorry so as you can see it is gnome 46 and yet it defeats the native gnome 48 oh, literally man. just awesome but that's not the only thing yep there are a lot of updates it's a major update to be honest we have an update in calendar applications as well the new sidebar with concise whole month here so you can focus on the main thing for example here on your weeks and days it's pretty nice you have access to the whole month and every date if you want to go there and then you have your weekly calendar and you can easily do anything you want for example this and this and this it's just so snappy and fluid that i always forgot that i have to use google calendars and there's an update in calendar applications as well oh camera sorry i actually love the way how they've used you know the icon packs i want to know which icon pack is this it just works and it looks damn good especially the camera one and the calendar one as well so the camera application has been replaced earlier it used to use cheese but now it's using i don't remember like it's the native version of gnome camera if i remember correctly the real gnome camera from the gnome project and they have optimized it which makes it easier to switch between device cameras let me just show you in real time okay so here we are and right now i have gnome camera there we go well i had to actually turn my camera off because i'm not in the right position to show my camera you know i have to travel tomorrow so i'm a little busy in packing that's why but leaving that i've been using it it's pretty nice and yes as you've already guessed it this desktop is arch plus hyperland setup dedicated videos have already been made about this you can check it out check them out later as we are reaching the end of the video and now it is time for the next application evolution if you don't know it's a mail application okay i know it looks a little too complicated as compared to outlook or gnome oh gnome i don't remember what was the gnome's mail application but it is complicated but that's because it has a new modernized interface you can easily go through your mail ca contacts calendar everything at this place and yes it is pretty organized and well made and then well that's it like yes you have similar updates in all the applications throughout the system which have refresh design it's perfect for those who actually used to use windows 10 and as of we're actually reaching the end of windows 10 in october zoin os is trying its best to actually be the savior for those people and to be honest they're actually doing a great job at it well let me know in the comments what do you think about it and with that being said i hope you've enjoyed the video I know this video is supposed to be a little better than this, but right now there are some things going in my own life, you know, college, travel and everything else. But don't worry, I'll be back in no time. Like on the camera, the videos will be uploaded regularly, don't worry about that. And yep, I'll meet you next video and the next video is most probably about Fedora 43. And after that, a real nice and good video is coming to the channel. So don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss those. And I've already created a catalog of awesome Linux videos. So you can check them out in my channel. And yep, I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'mo signing out.